Is slapping the trigger bad? Yes, it is. But it also isn't. What's going on, good people? It's Will. Um, I wanted to do an explanation for the post that I put up earlier about slapping the trigger and why it's not necessarily bad. Um, so most of the comments were new shooters. Um, it's a bad idea for new shooters. And some people kind of felt like it was a bad idea in general, uh, which is cool. Uh, but typically the reason why slapping the trigger is thought of as being bad is because with brand new shooters, you want to make sure you're taking everything slow. And if they slap the trigger, they're probably going to influence their sights. If you influence your sights, you influence your sight picture, you influence your sight picture, you're going to influence your hits, right? Chain reaction. However, if you can slap the trigger straight to the rear without disturbing your sights, there's absolutely positively nothing wrong with doing that. Now, granted, that's not easily done. That takes practice and training, right? But there are some shooters that when they're shooting rapidly, they will slap the trigger. So if you watch their finger in slow motion, their finger comes all the way off the trigger and then slaps it. So if you're not familiar with slapping, slap is essentially when, as soon as you touch the trigger, it's just one continuous pull, just comes straight back. As opposed to what people typically uh, teach, which is you find your trigger, prep your trigger, get to your wall, and then you add consistent pressure and you roll through your wall until you get a break, right? The slap is just straight through. Um, I will also bring up that in a stressful situation when you're trying to shoot quickly and it's your first shot, you're probably not going to press and then roll through the wall, right? As soon as you get your finger on the trigger, you're going to start shooting. Um, so that's not a bad thing. You just need to teach yourself to be able to slap the trigger. Uh, personally, when I'm shooting quickly, I try to just ride the reset, come forward as much as I need to in order to reset the trigger, and then press again. However, if you do slap it, that's not a horrible thing. And I'm sure there are times when I'm shooting really, really close, especially at a target that's at uh, arm's reach, or even within five yards, if I need to put two quick shots on it, I don't need a perfect trigger press. My index is good enough. I can get my sights on target and just my gun aligned and I can run my trigger as hard, as fast as I can, and I know I'll get two hits. Um, so part of that is knowing what you can do as a shooter. It's almost like with uh, shotgun shooters, how you should pattern your shotgun with your particular load and you're choking everything to see what your target is gonna look like at a given distance. You can do the same thing with your shooting. Uh, put a target out at a particular distance, run your trigger as hard as you can, say two times, get a good sight picture, run that trigger as hard as you can, and see, mind you, you're going to have to do that numerous times. You can't just do it once. But you'll see a pattern start to develop. And then for you, for your particular skill, it's going to be different for all of us, you'll find out at what range do I probably need to maybe prep and press a little bit, and what range can I be a little more aggressive with my trigger press because I'm so close. And that's going to depend on your grip, your alignment, um, you the purity of your trigger press as well. Um, just a number of things that can influence that. So for some people, that might be 15 yards. For other people, it might be three yards. Um, so it really just depends on you and your skill as a shooter. So the real answer is that there's nothing wrong with slapping the trigger. You can do whatever the fuck you want with the trigger as long as you don't disturb the sights to the point where you're going to miss your target. All right, so if you slap that trigger straight back, it goes straight back. So whether you prep and press or you slap, it's really personal preference. Um, but again... Be totally clear. I'm not advocating for brand new shooters to slap the trigger. That's not what I'm saying. You should learn how to prep and press. And then as you advance, you might be able to incorporate that into some of your uh, into some of your training. So either way, personal preference, but slapping the trigger is not wrong. If, big if, you can slap the trigger straight back to the rear and not disturb your sights. Either way, let me know what you think down in those comments. Y'all be safe. Team, what you know about? AR 15, the classic speed, man, you know the start speed.